Hello world. Raid forums. It was the internet's largest cybercrime forum, or at least the largest one that speaks English. Anything a cybercriminal might want could be found here. There were hacking tutorials, guides on how to stay anonymous, but by far their biggest attraction was their marketplace, in particular their leaks market, where users sold hacked databases containing personal information for sometimes thousands of dollars. But after six years online, raid forums was themselves raided by law enforcement just a couple of weeks ago. And this might be difficult to believe, but we now know that this website was started by your typical 14-year-old internet troll. Whilst it might have seemed like raid forums was some kind of super slick operation, this couldn't be further from the truth. Its downfall was epic and hilarious. It's almost as if the owner of it was trying to get caught. But let's back up a bit. How did raid forums become so famous in the cybercriminal underworld? So over the past few years, whenever there was a data leak, it was often first posted on raid forums. This website was the place to buy leaked data. For example, a couple years back, the personal details of over a million Ledger customers were leaked on the site. If you're not familiar, Ledger is a crypto hardware wallet. For cybercriminals, this dump was an absolute gold mine for phishing. And it's not hard to find people who lost tens of thousands of dollars in phishing campaigns resulting from this data dump. But this really is only the tip of the iceberg. The FBI estimates more than 10 billion unique records were sold on raid forums. It really is madness. Now you might think the owners of websites that facilitate data leaks like this would kind of understand what they're doing is wrong, but they just wouldn't care because money. But in an interview with The Record, the owner of raid forums comes across as hilariously delusional. So the interviewer asks Omnipotent, Oh, and by the way, the owner of this site calls himself Omnipotent. It's like, tell me you have a god complex without telling me you have a god complex. But we're just going to call him Omni because, well, it has less syllables. The interviewer asks Omni if allowing members to trade stolen personally identifiable information was within legal boundaries. In Omni's words, the sale of PII is commonplace in businesses such as Facebook, and I see what these users are doing as no different from what a big corporation like Facebook does. I should not be personally liable for what people sell or don't sell on this section, as there is no way for me to personally know if these users are indeed in the possession of whatever data they claim to be trading. So he claims selling hacked data is no different to what Facebook does. But despite the many flaws of Facebook, of which there are, well, many, you do actually have to explicitly agree to handing them your data. Whereas no one ever agreed to letting some random cyber crook going by name such as Max Pizza sell their data to the highest bidder. Someone who will then probably just use the data to defraud them. And then, after justifying the sale of personal data, Omni goes on to claim he can't even be sure if hacked data is being sold on the site. It's an interesting justification. I'm not sure if he actually believes he's making a convincing argument or if this is some kind of cope, but anyway. If you're wondering where that name comes from, Raid Forums, it's because the site didn't start off as a hub for cybercriminals. In fact, it had relatively humble beginnings. Omni used to be your average internet troll. He explains, the initial purpose of making the site was to provide a stable platform for Twitch raiders, hence the name Raid Forums. Omni, the Twitch raider, was only 14 at the time he created the site. And I was curious as to where their anime girl logo comes from. He explains, this was just a user submission. Many people submit logos and ideas to us. So there's no real backstory to this. This isn't Omni's teenage waifu or anything, or if it is, he's not willing to admit it. Either way, raid forums existed happily for six years, and Omni, now 21 years old, found himself a kingpin in the cybercriminal underworld. At its peak, his website had 500,000 members, with 20,000 of them active daily. Leak after leak was published on raid forums, and there was no real substantial government intervention. That is, until 2018, when problems started cropping up for the website's owner, Omni. One summer's day in 2018, Omni, a Portuguese citizen, flew to the US on holiday, and by this point he must have already been on the radar of the FBI because they were waiting for him at the airport with a search warrant for all of his devices. And this is when we find out Omni isn't very clever, or maybe he thought he was actually omnipotent, because the guy took no measures at all to hide the facts that he was running the world's largest cybercrime forum, and according to court documents, his smartphone received numerous emails from the mail systems at raid forums. The phone also revealed a Discord account with the username Omnipotent. Now, there's bad obsec, but this is just plain embarrassing. And it gets worse. So his devices were seized by the FBI at the airport, following which he emailed the FBI, asking if he could have them back. 
but he did this using the exact same email address he had used to register the domains for raid forums mirror sites. Why the FBI didn't issue a warrant for his arrest there and then, I can only imagine they wanted to get him on more charges. And well, they did. So this next bit is actually really kind of funny. Other than just running raid forums, Omni would sell hacked credit card numbers as a bit of a side hustle, as you do. So he did this under the name Downloading on raid forums. The FBI, of course, sussed this out and wanted to catch him red-handed. They responded to one of his posts on raid forums, within which he was trying to sell approximately 2.3 million credit card numbers. Law enforcement and Downloading negotiated a sale of 1.1 million of the records in exchange for $4,000 in Bitcoin. The sale took place on Discord, but after the FBI sent Omni the Bitcoin, Omni blocked the law enforcement Discord accounts. The FBI was also blocked from using raid forums. So basically Omni had just scammed the FBI out of 4K. But remember, Omni isn't very clever. And so I don't think there's much of a chance Omni actually realized he was talking to an FBI agent. I'm guessing the reason he chose to scam them was that the FBI was probably operating a relatively new raid forums account. So the ramifications of Omni scamming someone new to cybercrime are pretty much zero, as opposed to scamming someone who's well known in the community. The FBI, no doubt feeling pretty salty, continued their intelligence gathering operation for a good few months, and they were eventually able to buy some stolen data, this time without being scammed. Once American law enforcement were happy with their evidence, things really started to go downhill for Omni. In late February of this year, rumors began spreading on Twitter that something had happened to raid forums. You could visit the site, but every single page redirected to the login screen. Even if you entered valid credentials, you'd just be redirected back to login again. Something was wrong. One of Raid Forums admins posted in the official Telegram channel that the Raid Forums domain had been seized, but he didn't say who it had been seized by. At the time, some people thought it was Russian authorities that had seized it, because due to the Ukraine war, Raid Forums had vowed to ban all users connecting from Russia. But security researchers were given a pretty substantial clue in the form of the name servers for the domain having been changed. Whoever had seized the domain had changed them to jocelyn.ns.cloudflare.com and plato.ns.cloudflare.com. And it turns out these are name servers known to be used by US law enforcement for hosting seized domains. For example, the illegal VPN company doublevpn.com points to those same name servers and has done ever since it was seized. So essentially, US authorities were using the Raid Forums domain as a honeypot to scoop up the credentials of Raid Forums users, presumably so they could use those credentials in other investigations. But there was no news of what had happened to Omni himself until about a week ago, when the US, in collaboration with a bunch of international agencies, publicly confirms their operation against Raid Forums. The news hits the mainstream media, and Omni was confirmed to have been detained on January 31st. He was arrested in the UK. Apparently, he was here on holiday. In January. Odd choice. Omni, who we now know to be one Diogo Santos Coelho, has been charged on six counts, ranging from fraud to identity theft, and it looks like he's going to be extradited to America, where he'll probably be for a while. Strangely, the recently published indictment only seeks damages of about $215,000 from him, which is the amount he will have profited from via raid forums. Now, whilst sure this is a decent chunk of money, it's virtually nothing given the context. This guy was running the largest English-speaking cybercrime forum on the internet for six years, and this is all he made? That amounts to 36 k a year. It's nothing given the risks he was taking. I can only imagine Omni's business skills are just as bad as his OPSEC. And speaking of bad OPSEC, there are a couple of extra fun facts. According to court documents, Omni was using a Coinbase account registered in his name to receive illegal funds from raid forums. Not smart. And I was given a heads up by one cat at mail on Twitter that Omni seems to have been operating a public GitHub account which openly linked to raid forums, where he has a fork from MyBB plugin that seemingly allows admins on raid forums to read users' messages. Omni must have been playing dumb, or maybe he thought he was invincible. Either way, it looks like he'll be spending his 20s locked up in some American prison, and it'll be interesting to see if the fact he started raid forums aged only 14 counts as a mitigating factor in sentencing. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. Do you think Omni is any less culpable having started the site only 14 years old? And if you want to read more into this story, all the court documents and sources are of course linked in the description. 
This video was made possible by Altium Designer, the world's number one PCB design software. 35 years of innovation and development has gone into this bit of kit and it really shows. Nothing else I've used comes close to the sheer breadth and depth of features. If you dabble in PCB design at all, you have to give this a go. The routing engine even just in of itself is sublime. Grab your free trial via the link in the video description. As always, thanks for watching, and you know the drill, make sure to tickle the notification bell and follow me on the Instagrams for behind the scenes content, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.